Jesus. Respect the woman, divinity shall blossom. Where women, woman is respected, divinity blossoms. By woman, I mean femininity, qualities, not gender. However, for centuries, women has been ignored, mocked, and disfigured, and disrespected in myriad ways. She did not find her rightful place. Yatra narastu pujante ramante tatru devata. Yatra yatraetastu na pujante sarvastastrafla kriya, where women are honored, divinity blossoms there, and wherever women are dishonored. All actions, no matter how noble it may be, remain unfruitful. Sanatan culture teaches that men and women are of equal worth. Devi Suktam of Rig Veda declares the feminine energy as the creator of the universe, and the woman is celebrated as the most powerful an empowering force in some Hindu Upanishads like Devi Upanishad, Shastras like Devi Mahatma and Puranas Devi Bhagavat Puran. We need to respect all women. She is mother, a sister, a wife, a daughter and a friend. Women are blessings for this universe and without them society will cease to exist. In Theravada canon of Buddhism, there is one sutta where Buddha expresses this statement. If one keeps reminiscing about her femininity, then she is not freed of it. So too, if one keeps reminiscing about his masculinity, then he is not freed of it. These simple two lines explain the whole view on gender in Buddhism beyond all doubts. Buddhism focuses on annihilating the existence itself, while gender is something related to the physical body. It has nothing to do with one's mind, and when it is about annihilating the mind itself, then it is clear that gender has nothing to do with Buddhism. When you go deep into meditation, you experience that gender itself is an illusion. I have seen my astral body changing from female to male and back to female under periods of intense meditation, which is known as Kashina in to be exact. And people mistake me for a man during the period it was masculine. Kashina meditation is any type of meditation that involves looking at something. The thing you are looking at is Kashina in Pali language, which is, which in Sanskrit means gaze steadily. Many people learn to meditate on breath that is known as in Buddhism Anapana Sati in Pali language. When it translated, it means as mindfulness of breathing. It comes from three words, ana, pana, and sati. Sati means mindfulness, ana means inhale, and pana means exhale. The breath have two poles, inhale and exhale. And when you become, learn to be mindful of inhaling and exhaling, then it is known as anapana sati yoga or Vipassana meditation. The typical instruction for beginners is to feel the sensations of the air <coughs> flowing 
in and out of the nostrils. When your mind wanders, gently bring it back. Such instructions can apply to anything you pay attention to in meditation. In any of the senses, seeing, hearing, feeling, etc. Anapana Sati is kinestic object and Kashina is visual object. There is a difference between kinestic, kinestic because in Anapana Sati Yoga we become aware of the inhaling and exhaling breath. Whereas in Kashina you are, you focus on visual object. Otherwise the process of training of the mind is fundamentally the same. So you look at something and if your eyes begin to wander off, you bring them back. If your attention also wanders off, you bring it back. There are some subtleties to the practice, but that is the basic idea. Buddha never identified himself as a man. In fact, right after enlightenment, Ajivaka named Upaka sees him and awed by his appearance asks him whether he is a god, a Brahma or Yaksha or Gandhar. These are the terms in Sanatan Sanskriti used. Gandhar celestial body. Is he a god or the Brahma, the creator or the celestial bodies or a man? Buddha replies with a no to each and simply goes on to say he was a Buddha. And if he refuses to being identified as a human being, what to say about gender. He refuses to be identified as a human being. So he does not focus on gender. Buddha, Buddhahood does not mean in any way that I am a man or a woman. My first identification is Buddhahood, awakened. And all the others are secondary. The, I am full of masculine qualities and equally with the feminine quality. According to the Sutta, Arya Pariyashna Sutra, Upaka, the Ajivika, is the first person Buddha met after his enlightenment. Buddha says, and there was a conversation that happened between Buddha and Upaka Ajavika. Buddha says, then having stayed at Uruvela, as long as I liked, I set out to wander by stages to Varanasi. Upaka the Ajivaka saw me on the road between Gaya and the place, Gaya the place of awakening, and on seeing me, said to me, Claire, my friend, are you, are your faculties pure? your complexion and bright. On whose account have you gone forth? Who is your teacher? In whose dham do you delight? When this was said, I replied to Upaka, the Ajavika in verses, all vanquishing, all knowing I am, all vanquishing, all knowing I am with regard to all things unadhering, all abandoning, realized in the ending of cravings, having fully known on my own to whom should I point as my teacher. I have no teacher and one like me cannot be found. In the world with its devas, I have no counterpart. For I am the arhant in the world. 
I, the un, unexcelled teacher, I alone am rightly self-awakened. Cooled am I unborn to set rolling the wheel of dham, I go to the city of Kashi. In a world become blind, I beat the drum of deathlessness. From your claims, my friend, Upaka says, from your claims, my friend, you must be an infinite conqueror. Buddha replies again, Conquerors are those like me who have reached fermentations and I have conquered all evil qualities. I am the conqueror of the evil qualities. So and so Upaka, I am a conqueror. And when this was said, Upaka said, May it be so, my friend. And shaking his head, taking a side road, he left. A true Buddhist is someone who is freed from his masculinity and also a true Buddhist is someone who is freed of her femininity as well. Buddhahood is the most important aspect. Indeed, a true Buddhist is someone freed of his or her own self and the whole universe as well. Enough for now.